Uh, is Mugen a good person? Well, no. No, he's not. You know, I try to look at the bright side of things. But, nah, he's just not a good person. His pancakes are great. Top-notch pancakes. Not sure how you cook pancakes so well with so much hate. Hate in your heart. I mean, just examples off the top of my head. I know when he was up in my cabin, he was leaving Upper Deckers. Uh, he never replaced the toilet paper roll when it was empty or the paper towel roll. Um, never cleaned up after himself. But that's just, you know, that's small, small things. When I noticed he was a terrible, terrible person is when he'd go around town, a very small town my cabin's in, and he would replace all the service animals with untrained dogs or feral cats or squirrels. Um, one time he replaced it with a can of soda and just sit back and watch him laugh at all these, these people that are trying to cross streets. Just walk down streets. Just thought, he thought it was hilarious. It's just not good, man. He ordered Chinese food for me and him when we were up there. And Chinese, which was kind of cool. You know, hear him ordering Chinese. And then he would get the food. It would just be two egg foo youngs with nothing on it. Which is pretty much just eggs. And then he'd uh, he'd take all the fortune cookies and claim all the fortunes as his own. Which is not cool because I like fortunes. You know? Last week, I hear that he was, uh, he was in play, replacing a mall Santa and telling them that Santa was very much real, telling the kids that Santa was very much real, but their parents were fake and a figment of their imagination. <sighs> He's just not good, man. He's not a good person. He bought the Browns years ago. Years ago, he bought the Cleveland Browns just because he hates Cleveland. Look what he's done to that town. I don't know. I feel like everybody's inherently good. Everybody has a good side to them. Ah, not him. Not him. 